Yeah. Then you released your first EP in 2020 mm -hmm. when things were happening. Mm -hmm. Where will it our project? But someone, no, we are still <laughs> going to disturb you guys with our music. <laughs> yeah, and it, and it's called My Way. Yes, my Gonna way. do it my, my way. way. <laughs> and you know it's short and sweet yeah. four tracks only welcome to the top five with la music junkie that is me and today i'm here with such an amazing kenyan artist she's one of the finest female musicians in Kenya. And I'm not just talking about looks, even her voice, my friend, where? So she's a recording artist, a performing artist, and also a producer. And she didn't start out in music. She actually was a musical actress, but then she entered Saudi Academy. And then personally, I discovered her um, in 2016, uh, Jamhuri, sessions yeah. on YouTube. Um, she covered uh, Yemi Alade's Africa, such a beautiful rendition. She did also her song called Yule, which is still <laughs> one of my favorite songs. She has been nominated for two Cafe Ngoma Awards. She featured on two seasons of Coke Studio Africa as a background vocalist. And her music has been featured in two Kenyan films. That is Sincerely Daisy and you again. And I'm talking about none other than Wendy K. Hey, that <laughs> intro. It's like that's someone else. Thank you. Niwewe, <laughs> niwewe. Like, yeah, it, it's about you. Um, thank thank you. you so much for coming on the show. I loved, I've all, I mean, Stangu Yule, I've yeah. loved your music and I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you for having me. This is this is so cool. Honestly, this I feel like I'm just chilling at home. Like mm -hmm. I'm so comfortable. Yay. So I can't wait to have like awesome conversations. Yay, yeah. me too. <laughs> and before we start with um your top five, because that's what this podcast is about. Um, I'm curious, why did you change your name from Wendy Kemonto mm -hmm. to Wendy K? Because Kitambo we were calling you Kemonto, yeah. and then it became Wendy K. So I remember when I was called Kemunto only, I had a lot of people confusing me or even pronunciating the name was hard, mm -hmm. mostly for, you know, even Kenyans, not just people outside the country. Okay. Um, and then when I used Wendy Kemunto, there was another Kemunto as well who was singing, ah. but now in my Kisi area. Yeah. So sometimes when you'd search, the, the mixed results like would... You know, uh -huh. So if you don't know how I look, basically, you'd think maybe that's her. Yeah. And I was like, also, again, the pronunciation, mm. you know, people are still messing with. So I was like, this is my, you know, my great grandmother's name mm -hmm. and I love it. And I was like, let me just use something shorter mm -hmm. and simpler and yeah. more memorable. Okay. So it's still Kemunto, but just K. Yeah. But guys still call me to, to this day Kemunto. <laughs> like, it's cool. It's, it's, your, it's still your it's name. It's still my name. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, what does Kemunto mean? Because... This yeah. is something I'm like I'm so interested in knowing what people's names mean. So yeah. what does Kemunto mean? Kemunto actually means born by the river. So uh -huh. ke mto. Oh yeah, mto. So it kando means ya, ya kando ya mto. mto. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ulizaliwa kando ya mto. Apana <laughs> like you much. I love water. I love the ocean. Yeah. I just love staying near water. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're living your name yeah, to some degree. <laughs> Okay, and um, yeah, I'm so excited to just hear the stories behind your songs. Um, also, I noticed recently that your IG changed. <laughs> yep. But we're going to get to that later on. So for now, we, you know, you have an EP out and you have an album out and you have lots of singles. I'm telling you, it was so hard to find five <laughs> songs. Because you have so many amazing songs. Thank um, Thank God the music junkies came through. <laughs> I, so, I felt so loved. Yeah. I felt so appreciated, Aki. Yeah, I, so I did an IG poll. I, yeah, an IG poll asking people what, which song by Wendy do you like? And you guys helped me out. So I have five songs. Um, this time it wasn't just me. It is us. Our top five <laughs> songs by Wendy. 
Um, and let's start with um, your first official single mm. and music video. So you had other. I know you remember SoundCloud days. Yeah. Like I remember you had other songs there. You had a song called Tabasamo. Yeah. Um, but there's this one song that just like blew up mm. and like made everyone know who you are, yeah. which is maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it, still such a beautiful song, you know. Like I'm even hearing the guitar in my head right now. It's so soothing. It's you know R and B, and also the message. Like you know, like it's a heartbreak song, but you know you're like maybe I just need you to give me another chance. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. It was a. Uh, it was that song was very. Um, it was very honest, mm. and it was such a beautiful accident. Uh -huh. um, I remember the first time I got Logic, so it's a it's a production uh, like software. software that you yeah. can make music on. Yeah. And I was so scared because I'm like, what is this? This looks like you know a lot of things I don't understand. And then I came upon the sample, the guitar sample, mm -hmm. and I played it, and immediately mm. the words just started coming out, and I was like, wow, mm. this is this is something. So, yeah, yeah, I'm so so happy that guys love it. Yeah. <laughs> so you're telling me you produced that whole song? I did, and then I realized it sounds. I'm still not, you know, so well aware of yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. So thankfully, I talked to my good friend and guitarist at that time, uh, Edu. Mm -hmm. So we just went to the studio. He played the whole thing live, mm -hmm. and then they decided, you know, we can add a few elements here and there. Mm -hmm. So it was such a beautiful collaborative process. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Mm -hmm. And was it? Would you say it was inspired by a true story? Oh yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think I me I messed up in okay. a relationship that yeah. I was in, and at the same time I had a certain ego. I was mm. like, I mean, I'm sorry, but then <laughs> mm. so I was like, okay, maybe. Yeah. But I didn't understand my feelings completely at that point. Like yeah. maybe I want him back. Or maybe yeah, I really don't, don't want him. Okay. So that's where the whole song came about. Okay. Yeah. No, I get what it's called. Maybe. maybe. It's not like <laughs> I want you back or give me another chance. Like maybe. Yeah. Uh, did you guys get back? Were they? Apana. Okay. Lakini your wimbo. Okay. Shout out. You know yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for inspiring. Maybe. <laughs> and and what did that song do for you? Cause um. It was such a big song, you know. Oh. I remember hearing it on like Afro Central and like everywhere. Yeah. What, did it open doors for you? I think for me at that time, I was just shocked by the love. Mm -hmm. I did not expect it. Mm -hmm. So when it happened, you know, just I, I think I, I started getting more shows. Mm. You know, other artists would reach out to me and, you know, we'd start working with them. Yeah. So it was like a slow, you know, opening to mm -hmm. a lot of opportunities and mm -hmm. this is how the industry is yeah so it was really interesting okay yeah. Yeah. okay so yeah that was 2018, yeah, that was 2018. When, when you launched that um and then in 2019 you released um a very personal song yeah that was touched a lot of hearts by the way um like it was it's so vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, let me just read what you said about it. Um, so, you know, it's a story of courage, mm -hmm. defiance, strength, and victory. Mm -hmm. An emotional ballad that sees you step out and sing about triumphant victory from a once dark and hollow space. That was Huru. Whew. Was <laughs> I know. Huru. I know. Huru, Huru was... Till today, it's the most difficult song I've ever written, mm. ever performed. Mm. Even the video, shooting the video was so hard because mm. it it's, it's so personal. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, I remember I reached out to Dex from Hat the Band yeah. and I was like, eh, I know you're amazing. I yeah. don't know if you've written, you know, such a kind of a message, but I need help. Mm -hmm. I cannot do it on my own, mm -hmm. you know. And he was gracious enough. He's like, come through. We jammed, yeah. you know, we came up with something. And then I went to the studio and now worked with Jopi. Yeah. And through that whole process, like, I would cry during recording, yeah. jam. It was, it was such a hard uh, process, but it was so necessary. Mm -hmm. So, so, so necessary. Yeah. 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 Sounds like it was therapeutic. It was. Ah, it was. Huru is one of, like, if you can take away all my songs, mm -hmm. just leave me with Huru. Mm. I'll be good. I'll be good. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, 
Hey, yeah, like <laughs> even for me, I'm feeling it. I'm yeah. feeling that energy. I remember even in, in the video, I I saw tears. Like yeah. there were points that you was were not crying. fake. That, that was, was not fake. that was real. <laughs> that was real. It was. Um, it's one of those songs that. Uh, whoo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let the mascara not <laughs> run out. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but why why did you feel like you had mm. to write that song? I don't know why I felt I had to write or share. Like, I didn't go with the purpose of, I have to share a song about my experience. I have mm. to... I just felt I needed to release something. And for mm. me, I released through music, mm. through singing, through listening to music by other artists. That is so freeing for me. Yeah. And it really helped me. Mm. Like, so, so much. Yeah. 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 And And I think it also helped a lot of people. Like... You know, even just going through the comments on YouTube, yeah. a, lot of people, a lot of people are like, you know, it's so uplifting. Mm. Even the, there's this line you say, mm. every boy and mm. girl. You sing it. I mean, it's your <laughs> song. Every, sing that part. Every boy and girl, every wounded heart, this is your moment. You will love again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so, at the end, you know, even you, you know, you healing through that yeah. song you're also healing other people a blessing it's a yeah. bless- music is i feel like even when you go to like my youtube um profile mm-hmm. I, i've put it up there like i'm a vessel of art okay it's not about me yeah it's, you know i'm just going through experiences and using music to you know uplift people mm. you know encourage people so it's not about me yeah it's not, yeah. yeah you're the vessel i'm the vessel Amen. Amen. <laughs> and I also loved like this song has the production is like mm. live yeah. complete like you hear everything the guitar the drum the piano is did Jopi do all of that? He did all of that. Acha. He did all of Jopi is Ach- Jopi hey. got this one. Hey. <laughs> what I have no idea. that that guy is phenomenal mm. like he, that song i don't even have words he just transformed it it was yeah. so beautiful yeah well did oh. you was it a conscious decision that we want to do this live mm. production nama no we were just we we're just flowing mm-hmm. i just remember telling him okay i've written this song um with the help of dex and I want it to be, you know, vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And he just, from the words that I gave him, he's like, okay, let me see what I can do. And he came up with it. I'm like, that's it. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> so he did the whole instrumentation Every and then when you came back. Even directing me, like, you know, seeing this part this way, he is amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking like, like Dex and Joe P., yeah. were like your doulas yeah. for bringing this song to life. I, I'm telling you. I'm so grateful, Yanni. Yeah. I'm, I'm super, super grateful. Shout out to Dex. Shout out to Jopi. Aki, thank you. Asante. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah. you give her her most cherished uh, song. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I'm so happy. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm so happy that you shared your story. You know, there's, you said, mm-hmm. you know, silence will kill you if, oh, if you yeah. don't share. So I'm so glad you shared your story and you've healed and you're still here. You know, we are here on the top five with La Music Junkie, Hafa Tawala Studios. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so after, you know, after Huru, yeah. then you released your first EP in 2020 mm-hmm. when things were happening. Mm-hmm. Where will it our project? But someone, no, we are still <laughs> going to disturb you guys with our music. <laughs> yeah, and it, and it's called My Way. Yes, my Gonna way. do it my, my way. And, you know, it's short and sweet, yeah. four tracks only. Um, Ebutu Zikumbuke. There's My Way. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's Kai. <laughs> <laughs> number two, na atas kumbuki number two na kwanza, but samahani. Yeah, samahani iko. Mama papa. Yeah. And story ni gani? Story ni gani? Yes, yes that was M cubed. Yes. It's a kapuka song, serio. Ah, that one. Yeah. I'm not yet done with that song, guys. Eh? Ah, coming soon. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah, so story ni gani? Um, mama papa. I think Jopi produced that. Yeah, yeah. And then samahani was with Riga. Yeah. By the that video, motor. 
<laughs> featuring <laughs> Morris the actor, Cindy. Yeah, so Morris the actor was on it, mm. um, and Michelle was also oh, on yeah, it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Enrico, of course. Yeah. yeah, but um, I think for me, my favorite song was the title track. Yeah. You know, it's so empowering. You know, it's like it's a statement. Mm. You know, um, and. You know, it's trap. It has a bit of trap R and B. Yeah. Like you're no longer, you know, for a long time I thought you were like an R and B artist, mm. but now now you've played with trap, and then I really like the guitars on that. You know, who did that? Um, it's Leon. Leon yeah. Gunji Rizan who played the guitar. Okay, yeah. shout out to you. <laughs> Shout out to you. Um, mm. Yeah, what for you, what does My Way mean? Like that song and that project? Mm. I think at that time when I was writing it, I think I think Coke had just happened. Mm-hmm. If I'm not wrong. You're talking yeah. about Coke Studio, Coke Studio. By studio. <laughs> <laughs> Coke Studio. Hello, Coke Studio. <laughs> Clarify. Coke Studio, Clear yeah. The so, mm-hmm. um, and then, you know when you're in Coke... Okay, it's a long explanation, but... Yes. You know, when you're there, you're meeting different African artists, you're meeting, you know, different people from different walks of life. Mm. And you're there as a background artist. So you have to spend time with the music, spend time with the artists, yeah. adapt different ways of doing things. So in a way, when you do that for such a long time, it kind of, you know, I'd say it confused me for a minute mm-hmm. in terms of my creativity. Mm. So I was a bit like, okay. Uh, what do I want to do? And then I remember I was sharing my music with some, you know, top executives at that time. Yeah. And they're like, your music doesn't have a market. You don't have a sound that's, you mm. know, appealing. Mm. So different kind of, you know, negative yeah. feedback. And I was, I was so confused and heartbroken. I'm like, well, what am I doing? Yeah. Um, you know, so many different thoughts. And then I think when I started now creating, you know, my way, I was like, I just, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you approve of me or not. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I just, I know I was born to do this. Yeah. I'm still doing it now for yeah. some reason. Yeah. So I'll just do it. I'll do it my way. Whether it works out or not. Yeah. I'll do it my way. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for, wow. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Unaji, standing up for yourself yeah. and being like, this is me. Whether you like it or not, we're mm-hmm. going to do it my way. Mm. If you want it another way, do it your way. Exactly. You know. Case closed. Yeah. Move on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And who produced that? Uh, I was produced by Dilly. Ah, yes. the one and the only, one and only. Legend. Shout, shout out to Dilly. Aye, we we can't we can't <laughs> celebrate him enough, man. Yeah. He's, <laughs> man, produce man, man. He's up there. He's up, He's actually, up there. actually, I had started making a playlist. Um, mm. since I love making playlists, mm. right? Um, of Dilly's best songs. Oh, nice. So now that I know this, my way is part of it. Yeah. I'm putting it nice. there. Yeah, I'm, sh- I'm sure he'd be so ch- like happy that you yeah. do that. Yeah. yeah, I mean also Koyo's butter is in there. Oh, also by Dilly. By Dilly. Mm. I don't know. Oh, okay. You see, there are so many songs. Exactly. Like, what? Exactly. That's so, cool. That's so cool. Okay, yeah. so that was my way. How how was the reception for the whole project? Did people? Say yeah, that we've we've accepted how we. <laughs> I mean, that time I think now guys were like, okay, what's this girl all about? Mm. You know, so mm-hmm. I, I guess people are more, more curious. Yeah. Um, what's this about? You know, the different sounds. Yeah. So I got different, um, you know, responses for different songs, which yeah. was very interesting. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Do you have a favorite song? Um, I d- no because mm. moods. Okay. Today I feel like my way. Yeah. Tomorrow I feel like story in Ghana. I don't yeah. want to do anything. Yeah. You know, so it's just different moods for okay. different occasions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I like that. I was very diverse. Like, sure. It was a complete circle yeah. in a way. Yeah, it really felt nice. Okay, mm-hmm. so that was my way 2020. Um, and then in 2021, by the way, guys, there were more songs in the middle. I said we can't do all of them, yeah. <laughs> but in 2021, um, you released this song that a lot of people like. I like myself, um, Panda Shuka. Yes, Panda Shuka. Panda Shuka. Mm-hmm. Not a bear, not a bear. Hey, that song. That song. Mm. Yeah. So sweet. Um, I mean, first of all, just the trap mixed with twist. Mm. You know? 
Um, but if you, if you don't know what twist is, let's. This is that moment where we educate you on Kenyan music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because actually, guys think it's rumba, uh, and I mean, it's yeah. This genre is like they they slide eh, over each other, but they're not necessarily the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, twist guys um is not rumba. Twist is a Kenyan sound from the 60s and 70s. Um, Daudi Kabaka, oh, yes. John Zenze, oh, yes. they were the pioneers. And it's basically that song where you're doing like, yeah, na 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 twisty. Yeah. You know, that's <laughs> twisty. So um, Panda Shuka has a cut, hint of that mm-hmm. in there. And then there was the 808 mm-hmm. bass that just comes through and like, Go, go, <laughs> go get it. Yeah, you know, like yeah. it's, I love the fusion of just how, like you can make urban music, but you can still infuse your exactly. roots. Exactly. You know, like that's the only way we are going to keep our old music yeah, alive yeah. by transforming it, you know, into mm-hmm. something new and adding the new stuff. So I really liked, by the way, uh, sure, Ebu tell us about that producer because Sijai Mwana, Atajina Huni Kanganya, but tell me, yeah, uh, what that producer and uh, working with him. That producer is actually my cousin. No. Yeah, that's Kwa my cousin. Yaki, yaki China. <laughs> I was I like, know. who is this Chinese producer, Wendy? Is, uh, tell us about your cousin, uh, me and my cousin. My cousin. Um, so he's okay, he's maybe attacking some Jinake. But he's called Shen. Shen Yang. Shen Yang. Yeah, so he has a reason for the name. I can't remember the explanation, but okay. he has a reason how he came to, to do the song. Um, I remember he was also experimenting with music. He has done so many songs, and mm-hmm. I was like, I want us to do something different. And I remember I was watching uh, Shades of Benga for the first time. Ah, the series. The on series YouTube. on YouTube. Ebu, go check that hey. out if you want to know what Kenyan music is. Yeah. Really sounds like the banger, rumba, yeah. twist. Like Crazy they explain thing. every yeah. single. Yeah, I think every every music lover, every music junkie needs to yeah. watch that series. Even every musician. Every musician. Every musician. I it's agree. Very important. Yeah. Um. And for me, I was so shocked. I was so overwhelmed. I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. This is. I couldn't even go past. I think episode two because I was so overwhelmed <laughs> yeah. in, with sadness because these guys, any they gave their all, mm. then they were ripped off, mm. but they they created such beautiful sounds, yeah. and I was like, wow. So I think I was like, okay, I need to pay homage, you know, mm-hmm. to this music, and I was listening to John Zenze at that time a lot, um, and also Johnson Mukabi. Uh huh. Yes. Omo, what, Omotibo. 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 Yes, and they come from my uko my village. Uko. <laughs> so I was like, guy, mimi na, na kosa kujua jizi mziki. So I think the more I listened, I went to the studio with uh, Shen Yang. Mm-hmm. And um, I think Eugene, I don't know if you know Eugene Masepo. He's an amazing guitarist. I think ni memuona kwa stage. Yeah. So I just told them, like, guys, I don't really have a concrete plan. Mm-hmm. But I just played them like, okay, I was feeling this vibe. Maybe you can play. And then he just... And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then immediately, because I think at that time I was fired from my job. I think what happened? Was it, I think COVID happened. And then, you know, guys were just being let go. So I was so stressed. So I think that's how it came about it. And yeah, I was, even especially the lyrics. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the most technical songs I've ever written. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, I have to be intentional. I listened to a lot of old music. Mm -hmm. And then now I just start with myself. And then I finished. Now I think of us two and the rest. Okay. Yeah. So it was a process. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't like one time. But yeah. God, yeah. I'm in a pair. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you, you went with the intention yeah. from the sound to the lyrics. Yeah. And, and what yeah, you said, like, you know, you were let go. But what, what was the vibe mm. for writing that song in terms of mm-hmm. the, the message? The message. Yeah. The message was just, you know, just telling people, you know, Life is crazy. We're looking for opportunities. We're going up and down. Mm-hmm. Just because you're struggling, don't you don't have to sell out. Mm-hmm. You don't have to sell yourself. And you know, my shata my kona kaswende. So like that's actually the summary of the song. Yeah. Just you know, remember where you come from. Mm-hmm. Put God first. Yeah. And everything will just follow itself. 
that's that's the main message. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And then of course put some trap and some twist in there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so that's actually that's all Shen. Like he he yeah, he came he, he did he, he came yeah. through. He did a good one. Yeah. yeah, and also the video man, yeah. one of my favorite <laughs> Videos, <laughs> wow! Why your video, Mazel? You see, when I do, eh? Now forget to say, eh? Kill after you turn up, pope. Yeah, I have nothing. Yeah, and then luckily, um, uh, I have a friend who like had like the open space, so it's like, okay, we can go do it there. Yes. and then we found a goat, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> this is gonna work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it was, it worked out well. Yeah, even the cat. <laughs> You know, yeah, I was cut. like, hey, that shot has to be there. So, shout out to Lennox, he's the one who shot the video, directed. Mm, so, yeah. No, I think actually, I think that's like one of your best music videos. Yeah. Una budget, but the way it was shot, <laughs> Thank you. the authenticity, mm. the framing mm. like, guys, please go watch <laughs> Panda Shuka, you will be blown away by the simplicity yeah. and the swag. You know, Mr. Lou is in there. Yeah. I saw a child yeah. there. Like it's, <laughs> I think simple, simple works. It does. I, I knew that that day. Yeah. I, like, okay, <laughs> I don't have to have a big budget. Yeah. You yeah. don't have to go to the studio and wear CG 50 yeah. outfits and makeup uh, and nah. No. And aqua <laughs> garden, call your friends, yeah. get a good. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and. Panda Shuka actually became part of your album, mm. right? Mm -hmm. um, 2022, you dropped My Way Volume Two. My Way Volume Two. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm very I'm very curious. Why did you decide to call it Volume Two and mm. maybe not? I don't know. Another like another. Name. Yeah. Um. Actually, this album it's been in work since. 20, the same year that I released My Way. Mm -hmm. So it's been, I've been working on it for a minute. Yeah. And then it was just a culmination of sounds that I was doing that whole period. Mm. So I feel like for me, that's the one album you can listen to on shuffle. Mm -hmm. Like there's no, it was just, pango. yeah, no yeah. pango. It's just My Way in this type of sound, My Way in this type ah. of topic. You know, and it's just not, not, it's not just about like relationships yes. or, you know, heart. there's so much that I'm covering on the album. So, yeah. yeah, I was like, okay, I still, I'm not sure how people will receive this. Uh -huh. And let me just call it my way again, volume yeah. two, but there won't be volume three. That's, okay. the, <laughs> that's the last one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You've, show, you've given your way. Yeah. Like that, yeah. that is you. Yeah. And yeah, as you say, it's not about, not just relationships, talk about ambition. Mm. You may talk about politics. Yeah. Um that was Pewa. Yeah. You know, uh feature produced, produced by by Mr. By Mr. Lou. Yeah. And I also like that there are many f different features on mm. that album. Um so let's do one on one, Cindy. Right. Okay, so okay, mean me say Pewa Mr. Lou. Uh -huh. eh, <laughs> maneno Jopi. Jopi. Okay. Um Niambie uh -huh. featuring Jerai. Safe space featuring Ska. Yes. Um <laughs> My Way Remix, featuring Ska and Steph. Love Me Down, produced by, oh my God, Shark Def. Shark Def, yes. okay. Um, Corsair, mm. produced by Rain yes. from SA. SA. Um, my gosh. <laughs> fantasy, my gosh, uh -huh. Fantasy, produced by me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number oh, one, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to me, at least, at least we've, okay. we've, it's 12 <laughs> tracks, it's a lot, yeah. so yeah, we can't remember all of them. Um, yeah, but for me, because you had a listening party, um, at Muse, when was it July? Is it June? July? Thank June, no, it was actually before. Because it came out in May. Mm -hmm. like oh, okay. April or March. Okay, yeah, we are old. Um, <laughs> no, we are not old. We go for a lot of events, so we don't remember. We don't. Like, <laughs> hey, too many events. But yeah, I remember the listening session. Um, very intimate. You are looking like a star, my friend. <laughs> I still remember. Thank you. And there are, you know, there are a lot of songs I liked, but there's this mm. one song. They even told you about yeah. it. Like that song just stood out. Like mm. certain concert with the guitars. Mm. Hey, dun, dun, dun. 
I'm not doing the way. <laughs> Whoever did it, I'm sorry for spoiling. But like just starting with the guitar in a kwingi zandani and then vibes. Eh, but then my favorite part is where the chakata comes in. Yeah, me too. <laughs> ah, la, 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 la. Like you never saw it coming. Yeah. You think you're just trapped in here and then you hear chakata bits. You're like, what? What just happened? That's so true. That's like my favorite part of the song. Yeah. Like, again, Jopi. Again. Jopi got this one. Jopi. If you're a musician, please look, work with Jopi. He yeah. Is. He's so diverse and I think he's worked with different kinds of artists. Mm-hmm. So he understands an artist's vision and sound. Mm. And that song, um, I didn't even manage to record with him. So he just sent me the beat. Okay. And I just, I fell in love. I was like, yeah, this is, this is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. Um, and also I love the lyrics. Um, like in the chorus you say, Maneno ya nauzito, be careful for what you wish for, mm. which is, I mean, personally, I just see it like, you know, words have power. So whatever you say, whatever you do, like, no, something's going to come out yeah, of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think for me also, you know, when I write, yes, I'm, you know, maybe telling someone, but I'm also reminding myself. Uh-huh. And I remember that song, um, even when I'm saying in the in the chorus, you know, I started catching feelings, you know, mm-hmm. I'm doing all this, I'm working hard, I'm releasing songs, but I felt like, okay, maybe I'm not being appreciated enough, uh-huh. maybe like so-and-so, you know, comparing myself. Yeah. And then at the same time, I'm still getting blessings, I'm still getting opportunities, mm-hmm. but sometimes I wasn't prepared for them. Okay. And then when I looked back, I was like, oh, but I was wishing for this and it came and I wasn't ready. Uh-huh. So it's like, Words are powerful, yes. Yeah. Be careful what you wish for. Mm-hmm. What you reap yes. is what you sow. So no hurry, just mm-hmm. go slow. Go slow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Could you sing that chorus? We- Please, <coughs> for me. <laughs> eh. Oh, maneno ya na uzito. Be careful what you wish for. What you reap, you sow. No hurry, go slow, slow. You better know. Umeskia? <laughs> go slow, go slow. Hakuna mm, araka. Hakuna mm. araka. Tuende our own pace. Mm. Manifest, you know, yeah. what we want to manifest. Um, this, I mean, this whole podcast is a manifestation. Wow. Yeah. And you are doing amazing. Like, I, I see it's going to grow. Oh. Just don't forget me. I was here ah! first. <laughs> Yeah. In the beginning, <laughs> Wendy was here and we have proof of it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so yeah, those are my those are our top five yeah. songs by you. Thank you so much. It's it's still I'm just so grateful. Like mm-hmm. I can pursue this career. Yeah. People listen, people take their time yes. to listen to my projects. Like it's it's so humbling. It's so I'm just grateful. I don't even have the words. <laughs> I'm just grateful. Yeah. Grateful is a good place to be. Yeah. And I think when you know when you're grateful, more things come to you because more things to make you grateful. Mm. So be keep being in that grateful space. More opportunities are coming for you. I, you know, I believe it. And yeah. I think this, just your whole catalog, your whole album, mm. it may, you know, even you just put in the effort to yeah. put it out, like you've done your part. Yeah. And that's why all these blessings are coming. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. It's so true. And I wish you guys also the best because we need more spaces like this, you know. As a Kenyan artist, you just want to talk about your music, the yeah. process, not the politics behind the yeah. industry. You know? yeah. So it's, it's a breath of fresh air. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I always ask my guests what their favorite Kenyan song is right now. Ooh, I already have one. Hey, tell us, tell us, tell us. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Kuna wimbo inaitua Silaha. Silaha. Yes, by Ukweli, ah, Ukweli and, and Kasha. Yeah. Ah, chef's kiss. Uh-huh. It, is, it is, it's, I don't even have words. I keep on listening to it over and over. It yeah. is so beautiful. Mm. Wow. Like if anyone asks me, Nikitaka kusikia ngoma za Kenya, ni anza na hiyo. Anza na hiyo. Anza na hiyo. Yeah. Masterpiece. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I actually had it. And it's funny you say that because also Luca was on the podcast, 
also said that was his really? favorite song. Yeah. Um, that song has some, it has something. Kana ka, <laughs> ka voodoo, ka magic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So shout out to Ukweli and Kasha. Kasha. Um, okay. For me, what I need to say, I have many songs. But the song this week that I mean, it's Mbo Akili, ni Gedha Buddha. Oh, by um, Erosh and Ecstatic. Ecstatic. Yes. yes. Hey, your video. Hey, it's not about food. <laughs> Usi danganywe. Usi danganywe. Erosh, <laughs> tick. But I love, I love that song. Like, it got some Afrobeats feel to it. And then just, you know how, of course, Erosh comes in with the Kikuyu yeah. and then he switches up to kids, so, uh, to English yeah. and like swag. Yeah. And then Ecstatic is uh, over there. Ecstatic's verse was, hey, it was amazing. Every time I get close hey. to you. Hey. Like, okay, girl. <laughs> hey. By the way, Erosh, if you're listening to this, ni to me lyrics say, yo, Wimbo. Nifanye Kenyan karaoke. Sawa. Tufanye Kenya. We do we sing this song because yeah. this song is sexy yeah. um and beautiful. Also Kweli, I think it will be nice to just actually, you know, that's why I actually started Kenyan karaoke mm-hmm. on um on Instagram, Twitter, blah blah blah. Like just mm-hmm. to give more um voice mm-hmm. and you know, like to Kenyan songs yeah. and Kenyan songs yeah. which are not being played on Sijui radio and TV and clubs, but mm. they're such beautiful yeah. songs that we know and love. You know, a song like that. So, like just you going on online and singing that song, yeah. you've already given that song like promo for days. It's true, by the way. You know, people are like, hey, you know, Ghani. Let me go yeah. listen. You know, if I sing that Buddha, people are like, hey, you're in Bogani. Mm-hmm. Let me go listen. So I actually encourage everyone, whether you're a musician or you sing like a frog. <laughs> you know, there are people who shuku sh- sh- themselves. Yeah. But whoever, as long as you love Kenyan music, go just pick one song, one yeah. Kenyan song that you love. Do um, sing it. Yeah. You can, whether you sing it with the instrumental, you sing it with an instrumentalist mm-hmm. or you sing it just your voice Even a cappella yeah. a cappella you are helping the industry I'll actually grow. start doing that by the way yeah that's really that's a good idea yeah, yeah. and then tag yeah. Kenyan karaoke I will <laughs> all credits <laughs> all credits for sure yeah cool um so now finally um I just have three more okay maybe there could be more <laughs> but final questions so number one mm. what's been your biggest achievement so far as a musician wow um that i'm still doing music till now like i me every day i battle with imposter syndrome like crazy yeah like am i doing the right thing i might do this mama you know so many things um but i'm still doing it Mm -hmm. like for me that's and people are still listening to my music yeah you know so that's for me that's mind-blowing yeah and like it's it's so like i I feel like i'm a kid like oh my god you know you like my toy yeah it feels feels so nice like i can escape in music and be who i want to be Mm -hmm. yeah it's a nice feeling Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) I, i love that i mean and it's funny because also Koyo said the same thing and I, it makes so much sense because there are so many distractions and voices telling you this is not the right thing to do or you're not going to make it or I don't know what yeah. or comparing you with other people. And I, I also go through the same thing you know, as a creative. But the fact that we are still here yeah. doing what we love and getting recognition for it, getting blessings mm-hmm. getting paid for it like it's 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 what more what, what more do you want <laughs> and it it just affirms that you're on the right path yeah you know it, yeah. it does it's not a path at the highway at the shwe mm-hmm. at utapanda ivi but you're there you have people around yeah. you and wherever we are going we are going yeah that's, we are still that's on the it best, that's the best feeling it's I don't know. It feels so nice. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a journey. It's yeah. Been a journey. <laughs> and we're still here. <laughs> yeah, we're still going. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so my other question is, what are you looking forward to? Mm. Wow. 
wa hey hey you need ngori um <laughs> i think i'm looking forward to i feel like now i'm stra- okay i'm working on a project yeah. and i'm trying to do something that i've not done before mm-hmm. and um i just want to be i that question wa <laughs> context ya maisha ama context okay tunaweza sema kimuziki acha sema kimuziki tusi complicate sana yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think i'm looking forward to like um just sharing the music that i have I'm about to drop very interesting music. Ooh. So I don't know how we're going to be like eh. so I'm I'm looking forward to the reaction like this is I love experimenting with music yeah. a lot. Yeah. So I'm going to see how people are going to react. So yeah, just you know, keep going, yeah. open mindedness, always looking to learn to build myself, not trying to be comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Experimentation. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean you're learning production now. Yes. It's yeah. Santuri so <laughs> oh, I was saying all about experimentation yeah, amazing, amazing yeah amazing yeah okay I I look forward to that too yeah. okay and then what's the best way that we as fans can support you what mm. for you what do you feel cuz there are so many ways we think we can support you yeah. but for you how do you think we can support you the best way I think just supporting an artist by buying their music mm-hmm. attending their shows yeah. you know buying their merchandise yeah. sharing the music yeah. and i've seen that with some of my fans and i'm like wa akiasante mm. cuz sometimes as an artist eh hey, auna do auna ujui what's gonna you know you don't know yeah. but those small things and i think one of the challenges is you know kenya hasn't really had a proper music industry for a minute yeah. so even fans are like how do i support them hey. like do i go to mp3 nini and download pirate their songs yeah. you know don't pirate our songs yeah <laughs> yeah so we've come from like eh hey, tumetoka mbali like wap trick yeah way <laughs> wap trick even now <laughs> but now guys are like you know Kenyans are going to shows hey. even online guys are like hey we need more you know diverse artists on this show mm-hmm. you, you know so people are actually like how can we how can we help there's something in our country yeah. so it's it's i feel like the fans are really starting to take their time okay. with Kenyan artists that's yes. that's amazing yeah, yeah. Okay and I mean speaking of much I see you got something hey, yes, yes, show yes, us yes 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 K culture yes, so K culture is my baby mm-hmm. my new baby mm. um it's basically so the the tagline is raha jipe mwenyewe oh so it's just um a community that I'm looking forward to grow not just merchandise on jewelry yeah. and you know such things yeah. I just want to grow a small community of like-minded people mm-hmm. you know create a culture that builds you heals you and is not you know and gives you joy and, yeah. and happiness and yeah just good vibes right just good vibes. yeah okay <laughs> count me in Thank you. count me in the K culture <laughs> and um yeah so support you by mm. is your music on any online oh, store yes it's Equipi. everywhere mm-hmm. everywhere everywhere so you can decide you want to go buy through bandcamp uh-huh. you can even decide you want to use mpesa you can go to hustle sasa nice. and just buy directly nice um there's so many ways even the companies now spotify now is in kenya you mm-hmm. know there's you can use mpesa to access spotify so Nikweli. slowly slowly things are things are getting better yeah. it's exciting yeah. things are getting better hey okay and of course follow you on um yes. wendy k music uh-huh. wendy k music yeah. on instagram wendy k underscore on twitter mm-hmm. and wendy k underscore on tiktok all right i tick- to be eh, active on tiktok yeah fanya inaitwa fanya repurposing basically uh-huh. what you do on tiktok you do on ig like yeah. Sometimes it works, way. sometimes yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah. Eh, but yeah. Like eh hey, TikTok you need a whole day yeah. to just shoot the content uh-huh. and then now like place them ah, like for that's it. a good idea. Yeah, that way you're, eh, that way you're saving on time. Not at TCG today and then oh, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, no like yeah, shoot yeah. all of them, yeah. change outfits. Yeah. Actually that's a good idea. Yeah. That's yeah. That's, that's that's what I try to do but it's hey, it's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To 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 make it, to make it. To make yeah, it. And why and yeah, and maybe going back to my previous question. Uh-huh. So why did you 
like restart your IG because ah. I went and I'm like I see only three posts and I'm like ah <laughs> Hata si just delete their archive to yeah. to attach to those posts yeah. but um I'm in a new phase uh-huh. um I'm in a new I'm in a new frame of mind I'm just like I'm feeling new okay. you know I want to share new things uh-huh. and for me once I you know I stay with music I release it and then there's that point where I I enjoy to the fun yeah. for a minute and then I'm like okay I need to move on okay. I love it but I need to move on so good things are coming all right yeah. also it's a it's a new phase for you exactly. not to ambia new things new things new things new, are going yeah up and up and up all right <laughs> i'm so i'm so happy to hear that <laughs> yeah um and for me follow me okay don't follow me just let's connect <laughs> connect with me at la music junkie on instagram on twitter and yeah if you want to discover more kenyan music like you know when the case i have a free and exclusive playlist for you it's actually 100 kenyan songs ooh i need to go check it out yeah 100 of the top wow. kenyan music uh kenyan songs um you also featured on that playlist mm-hmm. there's a song in there and i tried to include as many sounds and styles mm-hmm. you know the twist the banger the genge the mm-hmm. reggae the pop cuz Kenya music is diverse, It's right? Very diverse. Very so, diverse. yeah, go check that out at on my website lamusicjunkie.com. You'll just see a nice banner telling you go get it. <laughs> it's free but it's exclusive. It's only if you go get it. Ah. See at go get it. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Go get it. Yeah, and um I think that's it. Oh man. It was so fun. Yeah. Oh, it was so fun. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Asante. Please yeah. invite me back. Okay. Yes. So uh, two years later, <laughs> yeah. we'll have more top five songs. Yeah. I'm sure. We'll meet to Ambia, inshallah. And we'll be... At a seat, we're going to do a lot of things. A lot of Even we can do like a live show. I'd actually love to do ah. now a live event with you where there's, you know, an audience yeah, and people can literally mm. ask you questions. You can perform the songs. Mm. So, mabo makubwa. Yeah, that's a good I'll, I'll actually that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. manifest it. Kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and yeah, see you in the next one. Remember to subscribe and check out the links that we've talked about in the show notes and I'll catch you next time. Bye.